All right. I do believe that it's about time that we get started. Welcome to the stream if you are here. If you are not here, you are still welcome as always. Today is a wonderful Wednesday. And not anywhere near as tired of a Wednesday as I'm used to having. Because, uh, well, I didn't actually work today. Lucky me. So, I'm having a good day. And I hope everybody else is having a good day. Um, we're going to continue with the Kidman DLCs. Yeah, I had a day off. It's nice. Um, I'm already like an hour, hour and a half into this DLC. I don't know how long exactly they are. I know the two DLCs are each like two chapters. They're, they're relatively short, especially in comparison to the main game. But I don't know like how close I am to the ending of any anything. But before we get into it, um, I got a couple holidays to cover. Uh, today is National Greasy Food Day. I love me some greasy food. I'm sorry. I know it's not healthy for me, but I do love me some greasy food. It's an American tradition. Thank you. Um, but it's also Chucky the Notorious Killer Doll Day. Uh, so we're finally getting into some properly spooky holidays. Yeah, I, got, I gotta die of something. Might as well die enjoying the food that I like. Um... Now, why today is Chucky the Notorious Killer Doll Day, I'm not entirely sure, other than the fact that somebody just wanted to celebrate, you know, a horror classic uh, before Halloween, which is actually kind of funny to me, because apparently the original Chucky film uh, was put in theaters at the beginning of November. It was actually released in theaters after Halloween. So, I, I guess it's better to celebrate it before Halloween than after, because it wouldn't, because it wouldn't make as much sense to have it happen after October's done. But, oh well. Now, the Kidman DLC has been quite different, and I've. I've actually been enjoying it. It's, uh, not to say I wasn't enjoying the base game. I had already talked about that. Um, but in general, the Kidman DLC leans a lot heavier, a lot more heavily into stealth and, like, not really being able to fight back. And because of that, it, uh, it also ends up being a lot spookier. Sebastian! Kidman! Joseph, wait! Ah, oh, now. Shit. That's not a door. Take this. So... There's three in total. Now... I see. Oh, how you doing today, Rise? Haven't actually uh, talked with you since, well, at least in a couple days. Let's see what's down here. About to have some food? What you having? I hope it's something good. That's a derpy looking pumpkin. That's awesome. They're out there carving pumpkins right now. Chicken stew. Nice. Then we're gonna have some bratwurst later. Oh, um the speaking of food and stuff, that kinda reminds me. Um We've got a uh we got a fast food place called like Petro's. Um, 
and Pedro's chili and chips here. And their food is great. What they actually, like one of the big things that they have is uh, something called Hint of Orange Tea. Where it's, you know, some cold, like iced orange pico tea. Nothing too crazy about it. Um, but with, you know, a little bit of orange, like extra orange zest in it. Like they, have, they literally put an orange in it. It's, it's pretty good. Good tea. Um, but uh, this year for seasonal stuff, they decided to do something a little different. They have a hint of heat tea. And it's weird. I actually got it over here on my desk with me. Um, what it basically is, is it's a uh, I think it's still the same orange pico tea, but it's got uh, pineapple and sriracha. Like I, I've I've never maybe that's just, maybe it's just because of it's not a normal thing here. Maybe it's more normal elsewhere. God. Yeah, okay. You've had that before. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not... It's definitely not something I've ever had before, though. Uh... I... I've never had a drink be spicy. And obviously, Sriracha's not, like, super spicy. It, like, just kind of leaves a heat in your mouth, but it's it's weird for me, because I've never had it before. It, it's definitely not bad, though. I, I, don't, I don't mind it. it. The sweetness and the heat this is it's really good it's a really good mix oh hello break this box if you don't mind and these ones too why not yeah I swear eventually something's gonna be in these goddamn boxes spicy and tasty yeah Oh, don't want that thing chasing me. Or that one, actually. I can't fight those fucking things. I can't fight anything, honestly. There's another thing that the Kidman DLC does that's great is they also take away my fucking weapons. I am going to be sneaking past something in here, though. Lucky me. So yeah, one of those things is probably going to break out. That or the lamp monster is going to come in. I'll see if there's anything in here real quick. Can't go over the fence, so as soon as I grab this. Lights go out, and there's something in here. Sure of it.
Oh, it's gonna break out one next to it, isn't it? Yep, there it is. Fucking knew it. Oh shit, I got it. It's jammed. Of course it's jammed. Hmm. And we're good. Ah, fuck me. Are you patrolling this area, or...? One. One more? He's totally not gonna bust out some other place, too. Okay, let's see. I know, I got that open. That opens up down there. Okay. Hiding spot. Good to know, I guess. Horse trapped. come bursting out of that door. Be too obvious. Rubik. I, I heard him. I heard him. Any second now. I don't like it. I don't want it. Okay. 
it, fine. Oh boy. Oh, so I have to lead through that door. So of course he got rid of the hallway. No, you're still walking. Okay. I don't have a axe. That's fine. No, don't walk back here. <laughs> don't do that. Incorrect. bottle at least. Mm. I might have to bait them using the bottle. Breaking out. Oh, I don't want it. I don't want it. Mm -mm. Uh. Nope. Knew it. But I fucking thought. Go back to your cages. be getting close to Joey. Where, where was Joseph going at this point in the story? I guess right here. Joseph, you're all right. You too, thank God. Any sign of Sebastian? Nothing. Maybe we can go back and look for him. No. I mean, let's just get out of here first, then we can worry about Sebastian. Can we open this gate? I doubt you and I are strong enough. <laughs> Joseph, watch yourself. I'll be fine. Quick, look around. Yeah. See if there's another way out. Joseph can do it. It's fine. Probably don't have much time. Look around for some way out of here. Pain. I remember this part actually. 
Yeah, because we, uh, we, like, pry open that gate just enough for Kidman to crawl under. Yeah, Kidman can't go back there. Okay. puzzles. Um, it's the star that's missing, I believe. It is the star that's missing, but, like... Direction. Okay. Okay. Oh. Ah, it wasn't a full star, it was just that little star. Okay. A little bit. We've refocused the efforts of the other programs to support our research. STEM priority has seemingly overridden other departments' individual research. Chemical and botanical studies are focused now on temporary, priming subjects for their inevitable connection. Now that the prototype is up and running, experiments continue. Upon their return from STEM integration, patients are interviewed extensively. While their particular pathologies inform their experiences, there are commonalities. They all experience the same settings, the same occurrences. The world they inhabit becomes larger with every new visitor. This suggests that shards of each user's consciousness are left behind inside the STEM, creating a community. It's as if internally a new world is being built. Yeah, just slowly but surely building up a fresh new hell. Just making making a constantly ch ever changing hellscape. You're losing focus, kid. I warned you about that. How could this place exist? I don't understand. What's happening in here? Ruvik knows you're here. He's feeding off you. But there are more important problems. That detective. Joseph isn't something to worry about. He doesn't suspect anything. He's expendable. How else do you want me to say it? Remove him. That's an order. What are you doing? Killing Joseph? That's not going to help me find Leslie. He can't be trusted. He'll turn on you. They all will, once they know what you're after. We told you. You're yeah. weak, kid. And you're disappointing us. Yeah, Kidman. Don't listen in the slightest. Are you guys all right? We're all right. Sebastian. Maybe we can lift this enough for Kidman to go under and open it from the other side. We're counting on you. <sighs> it's odd, though. Why would they catch you instead of just killing you? Maybe he didn't see me as a threat. He. You take him. 
You should have followed your orders, kid. Well, this is flashing around. Yeah, what you gonna do about it, huh? <laughs> you can't hide. You couldn't have gone far. <laughs> I don't want to kill Joey, but I will. Don't run. Just let me get a clean shot. Good thing you can't see flashlights. Literally just have a beacon pointing to my exact location. You can't hide. I can. In fact. The AI is not very smart at all. What did he run off to? Ready to go. I'm going to find you and rip you apart. sins you are ashamed of. You gonna like turn out that was yeah, I was, I was never there, was I? He's having a bad day. Back down to my flashlight. This house. No, it can't be.
please tell me about your family. Next subject. Is that her house? No. We've prolonged this talk for a while now. It's important for our understanding of you. They never gave a shit. Too caught up in that church of theirs. More like a cult. It was like a punishment. Nothing I ever did was good enough for them. They abused you? No. It was more like neglect. That's why when I just left, they didn't care. They never came looking, they just gave up. And you never went back to them? I did. Why would she? A couple of years later, they were gone. Everyone was gone. It was like the whole town got up and moved. I should have felt something, but I didn't. And how do you feel about it now? The same. They can rot for all I care. And they did? It was strange, though. There's a statue in the center of town. An angel with its head in its hands. I used to just stare at it when I was young, thinking it was sad. But now, I felt like even that statue knew how pitiful life was there. What a terrible place. So yeah, we are at like her, her like hometown or whatever. Which is what this place actually was. Okay, I remember going through here uh, in the base game. Leslie! Leslie, stop! It's fitting that there aren't any boxes here. Oh, no, no. There are a couple boxes. I I definitely remember uh doing all like smashing all these boxes too. I said there would be, and here we are. There was finally something in the boxes. <sighs> Took long enough. Missing a at least one lamp. Like that's probably what I'm gonna have to find. Yeah, it's over there. Jesus, this place is dark. A piece of my past. Stem must be creating this. What? <laughs> what was that? What? <laughs> that snail was enjoying that a little too much. <laughs> I... I don't know. I don't know what the hell that was. enemies out here now, right?
right? No, no enemies yet? Okay. Right, and I have to act like the fourth, uh, fourth searchlight. Makes sense. Okay. I have to be getting it to the end of this DLC. Because, uh, there's only one more, like, letter scrap that I can get. In life, we constantly search for a place we feel safe. Oh, okay. That's fine. We can always come back. It's just the director. We imagine that place in our minds and are drawn to it. You had a home, but now that place is here. Oh, that's this is a nice place to uh have a seat, I guess. what he's done it's not surprising that he doesn't care either he was never motivated by fear of mobius the stem prototype works but only when connected to reuben i've checked the details and he customized the whole system to only operate with his own brainwave pattern i left him alone with the device for far too long so no. trusted him too much and despite all my knowledge in the field it's past the point of fixing i can't just flip a switch and that's not the worst. That, that's they why. As well. I'm not going to take the blame for this. I will drag him here and make him fix it. I can't imagine what they will do to him if he doesn't. So Reuben did actually do it to himself. Like, straight up. He made it so that the stem prototype only works for him. So... He either had to fix it or they'd kill him and put his brain in a jar. I guess uh, that he made his decision. I better not be on a time limit. The only thing worse than stealth is timed stealth. your patrol path.
I was hoping that he'd blow up. Damn it. That means I'm gonna actually have to, uh, mash it myself. It's all good. All good. Ooh. <laughs> no, don't chase me like that. No. There we go. <laughs> you get caught once, instant death. That's also kind of what makes this uh, DLC more spooky. Just the fact that I am always just a step away from death. Wait for it to actually start going the other way. Because it kind of does a loop around. There we go. And now I get to keep the bottle. Okay. Oh. Well, this just started me back over here. Yeah, that pitfall trap. Instant death as well. Nice. Help! Help! They're here! He's here! Come here! Come on. There we go. Choose it against him.
And what I really want to know is where's the last keeper, say? I want that last note piece. If nothing else, but because I want to know what the hell it says. I found everything else. Ah, okay, that'll attract him here. I'm gonna check down in here first, just in case. Okay, now this this literally just loops. Oh no. Ah, fuck me. That works. Leslie, it's all right. It's safe now. You can let me in. Safe? It's safe now? Yeah, it's safe. Totally. I just said hurts. Can't get away. We'll be fine, Leslie. Church. How am I gonna get us out of here? Church, please. The church. 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 All right. Church. Come on. Church. Stay close to me. I'll protect you. Church. You better be an easy escort. Also, what? How the hell am I supposed to protect him? I don't have a gun that I can use. I can barely walk upstairs properly. Hey, Rubik. Ah, there's the last day. Actually assemble the, the thing now. Move so fast. There we go. Close enough.
I sense it's the moment Marcello triggered the, on the machine. He had removed my mind from the core. He thought he figured out how to get around me, but he is such a fool. The brain is nothing but matter. My consciousness is omnipresent. I can see them all, their memories, their thoughts, their fears. By pulling in so many people, I will consume them all. From the weakest first, each mind gives me more power to conquer. Where does my world end and reality begin? From now on, that line begins to blur. See, Leslie? We're almost there. Just a little further. Yeah, everything will be fine when we get to the church. Literally nothing bad ever happens. And this is totally where the game comes to a close. At five came a plague taking our livestock. With that, many took their lives. Um, at seven, mother turned to the church. Her symbol was etched in her mind. At fourteen, I left, leaving only a note. I wrote that I'd given or that I'd gone to heaven. What the hell? You've got to be kidding me. Five, seven, and fourteen. You've got to hide. Don't come out until I call you. Ah, this is the finale. Okay. I guess you could say I started young. I would sneak into the graveyard, steal the statues, and hide them. I wanted people to think they were cursed, but every morning they were back in their right place. At home. I had enough. When I knew I could survive on my own, I left and told myself I would never come back. So I've got the three. I think that's all three. Got five.
I was Plague. Seven was the etch symbol. Fourteen had gone to heaven. Church is right ahead. It should be a little safer in there. I can't fight him, so... You attracted the bottles? I guess not. That's not fair. Yeah, go be Sebastian's problem. We should go. Just in case there's extra documents over here, I'll check on both sides. You never know. Okay, now we know. No, no. Kidman's really out of shape. Stay with me. There's no other way. He's here! <clears throat> Rubik, what do you I don't want? have any ammo. You. I'm just making sure you're doing your job. Just like me. I doubt they want damaged goods. Back up! He's coming with me. Oh. I hope so. I needn't remind you the consequences for failure. I your people aren't the only ones counting on this boy. You need him to get out. As do I. We're all their pawns. Eventual victims. They killed me. They ripped me apart and took what they needed. I will destroy what they wish to control. Stop it! Let him go! Is my vessel. I am in control. 
I sense a conflict of interest. Just what was your mission exactly? Do you think their all prying eyes can't see in here? They've been watching you, kid. What are you doing, kid? You are to bring the boy back to us. No! I can't! If I bring Leslie out, Ruben comes with him. We don't know what he's capable of. I... I can't let that happen. Ah, going against her orders. Big mistake. War allegiance, but you are not in a position to make decisions like this. This is not acceptable behavior. You will bring us back that boy. Jesus. Having all of you in one place will provide us with opportunities. I can't trust you. Not like this. No. She's she's coming with us. She's my responsibility. Look, Seb, we need to talk. You're getting out of control. Finally, with this machine, I can go back. We can continue the experiments. There are some things here that are to remain in the dark. Beacon. I just hope I can get there before he does. A little hasty with that gun, kid. What is it you plan on doing? A little hasty with a gun. I still don't have a loaded gun. Who knows, though? Maybe I'll have a loaded gun in the next DLC. All right, let's load up the other DLC then.
export uh required archive entries from the assignment. Um Uh yeah, sure. I guess why not? Do your past secrets haunt you? Do you wish to tell them, but something holds you back? Come back, kid. You have a job to do. No! Stop! Get away from me! Stop running! <laughs> You're fine, Is kid. You're just having a nightmare. I'm back. <gasps> Agent Kidman. Oh shit! Are we awake? Hey you! What's going on? Where is this place? I'm afraid I cannot answer that. Are you kidding me? Oh, waste of time. Hey! I know you're out there! Hello? Do you have any idea why this world is the way it is? Hate. Hate. Ruvik's hate. The man's consumed by it. He wants out. Wants to get his revenge. He wants back what he feels the world took from him. Who's that? How does he know about Ruvik? Oh, we can actually enter his room now. Despite our powerful benefactors, with this much collateral damage, it's only a matter of time before people start to take notice. KCPD has been dropping by a female officer. I don't remember her name. Regardless, the police are not something I should be involved with. Mobius says they will take care of it and make an effort to ensure KCPD leave us alone. Then there is yeah, the that's reporter from Sebastian's the Crimson wife. Post, Ivan. Something or other, he has become a personal annoyance. He barely qualifies as a tabloid journalist, writing cover stories about tales of church sacrifices and other nonsense. But now he's being persistent about the missing patient's claim. I'll be damned if he is the man who brings Beacon down. It seems that Reuben could be useful for other forms of problem solving. Perhaps I can interest this reporter in an exclusive interview. Oh boy. Ah, those are the imported ones. Oh, hey, Leslie. Leslie. If I'm still here, then he must be too. Sebastian, he must be somewhere else right now. 
Damn it, he doesn't have anything to do with this. He has more to do with this than you think. We must have that boy. He will enable us to change everything. I'll come back with him. I needn't remind you the consequences for failure. No. But if Ruvik leaves with him, there must be some way to stop him. Society is wounded. People are suffering. Hopeless. Just as you were. If things are a Before little different season, here than they uh, were Mobius with can now do um, the same for with Sebastian. STEM is a machine designed to connect everyone's subconscious. And whoever is at the center has the power to influence them. There couldn't be a better tool to change the world to lead. Society needs a curator, and Mobius will be just that, ushering in the next step of humanity. And I can't actually go in there, so... While it oh, is boy. theoretically possible for a host to overwrite themselves on a user, the odds of compatibility are astronomical. But the boy, Leslie, you're saying he's a compatible subject. Yes, and based on Ruben's notes, the stem should be able to run with Leslie as its source. I need you to do tests. Determine what must be done to make him the blank slate we need. They knew. They knew what Leslie was capable of. Of course Damon, they why knew. Why would they hide that from me? Why do you think they would hide that from you? Probably for the exact same fucking reason. That you're doing this shit that you are now. We had a STEM terminal here, on the lowest floor. If Leslie's in here with me, he's probably headed there. And that may be my way out of here. Soon as the power just doesn't work on this. I can't get through with the power yep. out. I've got to get things running again. Can I get a bottle? No, of course. Right, of course I can't. The power's out.
barely see anything in here. Chemical lights. Better than nothing, I guess. Yeah, the, uh... The tip thing was saying that you can throw as many as you want. Like, it's infinite. But, uh, only three can be active at a time. So... These vents literally did nothing. Awesome. I have to walk past this guy. I'm scared. Yep, there it is. Cross it out this way. There we are. That's what I was wanting. Doesn't seem like they detect it as noise, which is is good. Yeah, I can't say I'm a fan of this. Prefer it to having the flashlight. There must be a way to get the power back on. Nope. Uh-uh. Don't like it. Uh... Oh, that went down. That's a bottomless pit. That's what that is. Is it a physical object that I can hit things with? <laughs> Must be up above. Auxiliary power has been activated. Floor security is now in building.
Yeah, that's a sound that I like to hear. Still nothing there. And it is lit up more, but not by much. This is like not lit up at all. There's another one right there, okay. Oh, it, this is literally just to hide. get around them to using that. Ugh. I can get around using this though. I didn't see this ladder here. Probably was very much intentional to not see the ladder there. Still. Of course I saw the ladder there. That's why I fucking climbed down. Oh, I'm dumb. Don't mind me. I'm I'm uh I'm drinking the special sauce tonight. I guess. This isn't the time to make me wait. No, now's the exact time to make you wait. I'm gonna pet this cat for just a second. I've gotta take a quick bathroom break.
Sorry about that, I'm back. Yeah, I just couldn't hold it any longer. <laughs> I was like, nah, I can't go another hour and a half like this. flashlight back. <laughs> flashlight was way better than chemical lights. Ruben was quite insane. A compromise of evidence on our part. He seemed motivated, obsessed with revenge against something never specified. We discovered what he was doing in secret. Torturing. Pinching for traps. A serial killer masquerading around as a scientist. Yeah, and you also kill people, so I don't see the problem. To a lot of those now, aren't I? And uh, that's going to be uh, that's going to be the key to it all. His demeanor has turned far Waiting. too aggressive, and his techniques even more perverse. Da Vinci would dissect corpses to further his anatomical studies, but what Reuben has done goes beyond demanding his subjects be aware as he dissects them to truly see how the mind reacts. He's more of a butcher than an artist. But we must remain scientists above all. I had taught him from a young age that the end shall justify the means, but I could not have predicted things to be this extreme. Mobius has learned of his involvement due to my carelessness. I've asked they bring him on board to assist in development. Perhaps offering him better facilities and support will refocus him and stave off his gruesome proclivities. No, it doesn't. It doesn't do that at all. This machine it makes was things worse. For me. People like you. You took my life away. Turned me into an abomination. Finally, with this machine, I can go back. I can live the life I was supposed to have. We are forgiving. We are willing to overlook your certain peculiarities for what you can provide us but you are testing our limits our manpower our resources are not here for your pathetic fantasy you will reverse the calibration on the machine so we can use it without you and what if i say no you think he menace can fix this <laughs> you need me and there's no way around it Ruvik. No. Reuben. This was where he was doing his research with us. We were just using him. And I doubt he's the first. He was definitely the most prominent. Oh boy. Um. I'm gonna see some torture now. There he is, not very well lit. Mm. No, sir. I don't like it. Oh. Yep, I'm gonna get close to the monster.
No. She says that she's being eaten alive. Ah, oh, man. Yep. I don't know. Looks like you got plenty of time for it. I'm gonna try to activate it one more time uh, before I just like hold off on activating it. Restoring security clearance. This may take a few moments. I don't have time for this. System ready. Oh, it's getting all like gory now. This is the point in the story where it just starts getting fucking weird. As soon as I leave, they're coming through that door. Yep. I knew it. Shit, it's back. going. Please enjoy this music while what? waiting. What? No. You've got to be kidding me. Alright, we're good. Guess I'm Everything's right fine. Now. No, I'm not. I'm I'm not. What the Ow. You know better. You know it's not gone.
I didn't mean to go through. I didn't mean to. holding my breath. It's eyeballs now. Oh, thank God I get my flashlight back. Show me. Keep your emotions out of this, Jimenez. He brought this upon himself. We gave him a chance. Where is he? If you really wish to know, he's in the next room. Come, see. Uh, I'm genuinely happy to have a flashlight back. <laughs> line out the blood splatters, right? Hold on. Back on the proper one. It's it's straight up not letting me change the dial. One. Okay, it'll let me do it with the mouse. Yeah, that's what was actually causing the issue with the mouse. Ah, damn! I already missed the letter scrap. Okay. Continue the experiments. And your 
assistance is even more necessary than before. This whole project, from the beginning it was about deceit. Did you really expect anything else? Sorry, but Mobius isn't a good, like, organization. Sorry that they tricked you into thinking that. Him, and I am appalled. To think the young boy I mentored is now this. A mass of gray matter in a glorified <laughs> test tube. Could they have been planning this all along? And what have I become in all of this? They've managed to keep his mind alive by simulating an artificial body. His consciousness is being confined to a metal straitjacket, a gear in their infernal machine. They have even stricken his name in humanity, referring to him by an anagram, Ruvik. A crude joke, as if spitting on his grave. I almost felt the urge to smash the case and end it right there. But my anger was quickly replaced by scientific curiosity. Reuben's legacy will live on. I will spearhead the next step. I will create something of my own out of this tragedy. Yeah, and make it way, way worse what than what you see before. here is one of the first STEM prototypes. It requires a physical connection from user to host. A beacon houses a newer version with a wireless transmitter. All the user hears is a high-pitched tone, and they're connected. We've gotten word Jimenez is prepping for unauthorized usage. We would like the trial run to be on our terms, not his. That sound in the patrol car must have been when Jimenez activated it. Joseph, Sebastian, Oscar, they were all pulled in with me. The stem and beacon, that's where it all started. There must be a way to get out of this world from there. That's when they were, everybody was pulled in and everything went to shit. Like, super shit. There are some things here that are uh. made in the dark. Especially for you, kid. You're asking too many questions, ignoring your mission. Running from responsibility. Just like you always do. No, that's not true. You don't know me. That much is obvious. But we need to make sure you do what you're told. You're lying to me. Hiding things. I can't trust you. Not like this. You are not required to trust us. Only to obey. Ours is not to question why, ours is but to do and die. It's only gonna get worse from here, don't worry, Kidman. It's way worse from here. I'm sure of it. Wonder if I'm gonna get dragged into the hellscape with Sebastian. When I say the hellscape, I mean like the the finale that Sebastian went into. Uh, yay, teleported. Uh, actually, not even teleported. I'm walking on the ceiling. It's okay because of the ladder that also goes into the ceiling for some reason.
You were assigned to your team for a reason. Castellanos, Oda, they know nothing. But they're searching for answers. Searching for us, you mean? One of us. But this may be our chance to remove them. Having all of you in one place will provide us with opportunities. Listen. The police department. Why am I here? Uh, you're here because... No, oh, because everything really sucks right now. First they drag you in here, some kind of like... Repentance or some shit. waiting for it to uh, teleport me back into the nightmare. Just staple up a bunch of uh, missing posters and shit. Not, not staple. You can't staple on glass. Tape it up. That's what I meant. I suppose. She's a great cop in her own right, but we can manage without her for a little longer. You should hope she doesn't hear you say that, or you'll be out in your ass, Joseph. This looks like it's way before I got here. Everyone's so much younger, but Sebastian's profile didn't say he was married, let alone a child. Okay, so this is where their memories start bleeding in with Kidman's. Alright. It's written somewhere around in here. Maybe in the other room. Nothing. Oh, they are in there. I just had to look at them through this. If we're left, fifteen right, twenty left. Twenty four left, fifteen right, and twenty left. Go bad. Look, Seb, we need to talk. Going off with your conspiracy theories, you're getting out of control. You don't pull that in front of the captain. I'm on to something, Joseph. I don't need you hiding shit from me, too. I'm not, Sebastian. I'm trying to help. 
I want to help, but you need to think about this carefully. Your daughter, it was a loss everyone on the force felt. But your wife is... Myra left, Joseph. She left. When we needed each other the most, Myra left me. What would make her do that? I have to know. I don't care what it costs. His daughter, then his wife? One right after the other? Oh, you didn't no know? He always seemed so closed off. Must not have read his file. Fast forward again. Julie Kidman? She barely has any experience. We don't even know anything about her. Send her out canvassing witnesses then. Let her see the streets. No. She's... She's coming with us. I'm going to train her. She's my responsibility. Look, I know you say it's personal, and I don't like to talk about it. But we can't have your misplaced guilt leading to rookies slowing us down. Sebastian. He and Joseph weren't supposed to be involved. It shouldn't have happened like this. Oh, the pins on the map is actually uh, actually updating as well, I think. You've been on assignment for a week. How has it been? Observe and report, just like you ordered. It's surreal to be on the other side after all I've been through. Any signs of anything? Nothing yet. I'm not about to be caught snooping around the classified room while I'm still on probation, so I can't get what they have on us. Just earn their trust. That's all you can do now. It'll take a while, but in the end, they will let you in. I didn't know all these police officers were characters, though. Guess the tough, hard-boiled detective stereotype is still going strong. Our reports on Oda are that he doesn't let things slide. So be extra careful around him. we Will do. Though I can't imagine us getting along well. And... Detective Castellanos. Anything you have to share on him? Seems drunk half the time, but at least he's considerate. Is he really the one people are concerned about? He seems almost harmless. He is known to get. Oh, he's definitely harmful. Just make sure to give him mostly to nightmares and shit. But as your superior, so was that the? Okay, yeah, that was the first one. Do I get another fast forward? No, I get a cutscene. This is crimson? This can't be real. Hey, we're in the city. Nice. Beacon. I just hope I can get there before he does. This is where things started to get really weird in the base game. I can't squeeze through here at all, can I? No, of course not. That uh, the nice was more me just like recognizing where we are in the story. Kind of. Like I don't actually know how long she was uh she was in the city. I don't well, need to use my axe. He's not coming back. Yeah, 
No, it, it, this is where shit gets like really wild, like buildings and shit just being moved around and flying through the sky. You know, when, when Rubik starts gaining even more control over everything as it gets closer to the end, it's good shit. I assume since you've played the the base game, you you also like played all the DLC, yeah? Awesome. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping I, I should. There's no reason. I can think of that I wouldn't be able to finish this up on Monday, like right before Halloween, uh, if I don't finish it tonight, that is. I'll probably even have a bunch of extra time to uh, to try the Keeper as well. I haven't heard good things about the Keeper DLC. One where you play as uh, as the Executioner. I mean, I know it's non-canon, so I, I'm not going to be taking it that seriously. The past is over. You're with us now. Here are the keys. It's yours. You'll have to take care of your own food, clothing, and incidentals. But your bank account has more than enough to take care of that. From my understanding, it basically turns the game into a hack and slash. What am I supposed to do? And, yeah, maybe it'll be a fun little breather after I'm done. I don't know. To everything. You are a police officer. And you must live as such, and act as such. I don't normally say this, but thank you. You shouldn't be thanking us. These aren't gifts we provide. You have a very specific assignment at KCPD, and all of this is in exchange for that. Okay, you're right. Sorry. Don't apologize. Just show us you can do your job. I don't know if I'd ever try a drink called Fuji Do. Oh, it's just one of these. Okay, I can I can do this without. Even if I don't have the first letter scrap, it'll help me keep a keep an eye on my progress through the DLC, I suppose. Yeah, there's eight letter scraps just like in the other one. So I'm actually halfway through. I might actually be able to finish this up tonight. If I finish this up tonight, I'm not going to bother playing the Keeper DLC. Uh, I'll find something else to do or just take a break to end out the month. Um, but I will play the Keeper DLC if I had to push this out to Monday so I can fill the time. You said I shouldn't be. But I am thankful. I don't know what would have happened to me if you hadn't brought me in. The mark. Looks like it might be my only way out.
I mean, yeah, that's the general consensus that I've heard is that it it felt it felt like the quality of it was lacking. It was almost like a, an afterthought. And on top of that, like at pretty much everybody that played this, at least when I was looking into it, uh, just said, yeah, don't even, don't even bother playing it. almost like it was an afterthought. You can't see me. He told you you couldn't see me. What do we need to be in there? That's okay though, like, not every DLC per game needs to be an absolute smash hit. Sometimes it's just fun to have an extra little side thing that it's a very little consequence and just let you have a little bit of fun. chance to prove yourself to us, kid. Don't let us down. Bring the boy to us. Stop it! Get out of my head! got those cool paintings. Yay. Boy, howdy, do I love the creepy paintings. Now, poor Ruvik, he was probably more fucked up by, like, everything else that he was surrounded by than anything else. Like, oh yeah, it's uh... Oh, if, if these are the kinds of fucking paintings that you just have around your house... Yeah, I'd, I'd also probably grow up a little more morbid than most. Way more accurate than that. Does he actually climb the ladder? No, he just literally goes in there and doesn't climb. Okay. Sure.
No, no, that's not necessary. Oh shit, it, they gave me a gun! Well, I'll be damned. About fucking time. It's about goddamn time. It's probably going to take it away from me, like, shortly after, isn't it? It doesn't like me having nice things, like weapons. I don't think a shooting is going to do me much good. Actually, it might. I tried. Once that light gets on you, you're... Uh-uh.
Oh no! Oh! <laughs> the game crashed. One second. Get it back up. Boo! Boo! I'm pulling it back up. DLC, consequence. If I click on continue, hopefully it has an autosave. Like a checkpoint there. Okay, yeah, it did. I'm not running this time. A minor setback. How many shots do you take? The three? That'd be a classic. I'm pretty sure it would be more than three, though. Nope, it was just three. Okay. Did Ruvik send you? Well, I hope he gets the message. That wasn't necessary. I'm sure that wasn't required in the slightest. I just wanted to do it. Fuck that thing. Kidman, are you in there? Sebastian? Kidman, it's me. If you hadn't come along, save it for later. There are probably more of them around. Sebastian, what is stay back? That's jumping ahead. She's my Sorry for putting you through this. I don't want to hurt you any more than I already have. So she didn't she actually shoot him. You. That's interesting. A little hasty with that gun, kid. What is it you plan on doing? What I have to do. No! You do what we say. You will come back with that boy, or you will do... 
disappear. Oh, that's another chase sequence. <laughs> God damn it, not again. Well, hey, maybe I don't have maybe I at least don't have to deal with the uh with the lamp monster anymore. Maybe. Yeah, maybe that's just also wishful thinking. And I go, Kidman goes flying off of a cliff. Can you discern between evil and good? <laughs> That's how she survived. When we crashed, she got thrown into a building. No, no, no. Yeah, and there goes the gun. Damn it. I knew it. I knew it. I will not be kept here. What the? Maybe I can burn through it. Yeah, I, I don't actually think I'll be able to finish this out tonight. Yeah, it's probably going to be delayed until Monday. At least at this rate, because I, I don't think I'm going to be able to get through the last chapter in half an hour. No, don't risk it. Hold on. I think I see another way down. I'll meet you on a lower level. At least they're all right. Please, just stay out of my way. I might actually uh, stop at the next save point. Whenever that is. After surviving the fire incident and subsequent abuse from his parents, it's a miracle Reuben can function at all. His work comes from a place that isn't motivated by fear or money or social standing. His motives are more pure. I would say that he is obsessed with the chance to relive and remold reality so he can be with her again. His scarring is heavy, both physically and emotionally, but he longs for his lost sister 
His love for her borders almost on an incestuous level, but as long as it provides motivation, so be it. Yeah, Reuben was a was a character, that's for sure. He was that crazy before he got turned into a brain in a jar. Leslie. No secret things, unfortunately. Yeah, I just need to get uh, get to the painting and burn it. Oh, I gotta go the long way around. Y'all can stop. I can take this. Never mind. can't see me. I don't exist to you anymore. I'm like a ghost. Exploit their short-term memory loss. him out of the way though. Fucker pissed in my Cheerios. He is my vessel. I am in control.
Holy shit. Maybe I can stop Ruvik then. Yeah, it even gets rid of those guys. That's nice that it just kind of like kills off the guys that are remaining. I'll just sneak around them anymore. Washing machines in the staff only room. Okay. Where are the numbers? Yellow twenty three. I can find one of the other numbers and I'm good. Ah. Blue 2, yellow 23. Now, I don't know where the red seven would have been. That's okay. I only need two numbers. I don't need the full set. Oh, there's the red seven. Good to know where it was, but completely unnecessary. Um, oh, record. Okay. And save point. Right there. I revisited the Victoriano estate yesterday. It's a vestige, a mere husk of what was bound to be such a home of promise. Mobius reaped nearly everything of value when we took on the research ourselves, but Reuben's notes indicate he was involved in something else. There were plans for another STEM prototype. Data about using receptors to transmit the brain function wirelessly to unaware users. It's borderline parapsychology, but these schematics and the scientific backup provided seems sound. What was he planning to do with such a thing? No, what he was planning There's to do. There's only one way to find out for certain, but I must continue these experiments in private, away from their prying eyes. I will not let them know, lest they take this from me as well. There we go. All right. And uh with that, I actually think I'm going to be done for the night. Just pick this back up on Monday. Finish out the DLC. Maybe try the Keeper DLC to finish out October. If you're still here, though, thank you for being here, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night.